What is up, everybody? Josh here again. Today we have an Icarus Week 97 update. This week they've added Hypatia Part 1, the Styx expansion, which adds 19 new operations into Styx. They have also had some notable improvements, some huge nudes about a new mount next week, and so much more. Let's get into it, shall we? So this is the Hypatia Part 1 Styx expansion. This is where they are adding the 19 operations or open world missions into sticks and as long as you have sticks you'll be able to participate and get this and be able to do the open world missions or operations in sticks now not all of them are currently available now you can complete the missions in sticks which is pretty cool there's a few notable improvements this week there's some mesh and texture adjustments to most building tiers which will provide some performance benefits and allows us to cosmetically skin those in the future which is awesome fix longbow being unable to be crafted or repaired on the forge or foundry as it was supposed to be they also fixed the collision issues present on the arcticus outpost and general cleanup of many sticks and olympus missions using the new technology and replacing the tech from two years ago to provide a better mission experience so the big news this week is that Styx has the operations now, and they're basically for free as long as you already have the Styx DLC. They state that they were super popular with New Frontiers, the open world missions that is, and that hopefully in the next coming weeks they'll have the Olympus maps converted over to open world operations as well. 19 missions were converted over into operations for Styx. And you can now launch those from the contact device in open world. Of course, Styx is a paid DLC, so if you do not have that DLC, you will not be able to play these operations until you purchase that DLC. But most people got it for free when they first started playing Icarus, as a sorry that the game has a rocky launch. Now, these are also still available in their pure mission forms, but you can also do them in open world now as well. All 19 of these missions. We'll show you what missions those are here shortly. Also, they go on to say that Dean Hall, the CEO, says that there was a rocky launch and that Styx was released because of that rocky launch for free to people. But now that it is a full DLC and it now has the full persistent open world experience it was always meant to have. I also want to mention that due to the conversion process of some of the missions to operation, some existing prospect saves on missions for Olympus and Styx may not be able to be completed in their old state. So they have provided a branch on Steam that will keep the current build on before this week's patch so that you complete those missions before switching over. And it's called Icarus Prehypatia that you can find full details down below. We'll show you a real quick detailed guide on that. So once you're in your Styx open world, you can make a contact device like this and upgrade it. You can install the infrasonic relay upgrade for the blue missions and encrypted satellite upgrade for the purple missions. You can click on operations now and you'll see these are the, they're color coded. So blue missions are, as we stated, for the relay, purple ones for the satellite. And you'll see that the Styx missions are now fully available except for some of the timed and exploration missions. 19 out of the 27 are currently available. And you can launch them straight from this mission screen here now, as long as you have the proper upgrades. And you can get Ren and Exotics, purple ones, in open world. Now, once you actually complete a mission, just like in New Frontiers, you're gonna see that it just says it's mission complete, and you won't be able to repeat that until you start a new Styx open world. So the missions are still just like New Frontiers. They're only able to be completed once, and then you have to pretty much start a new open world but you can still do all the missions in open worlds if you choose to do so and that's the new hypatia one update so basically showing all of these missions here and the option to be able to start them and of course on the screen all you got to do is left click on something and it will start that mission also you can go to the previous pre-hypatia branch like they mentioned all you have to do is go to your steam library right click on icarus and go to properties and then you go to betas. There should be an option up here in beta participation. Up in the top right, you should see it should say none if you are currently on no betas. And then you also have the option to choose pre-Hypatia. And this will bring you to the build right before Hypatia. So you can complete missions. Then you can update to Hypatia by just clicking off of pre-Hypatia and going to none. So once you click on pre-Hypatia, it will start updating. Once you click on none, it'll start updating. So just go to pre-Hypatia, complete your mission, then come to Hypatia, and you should be good to go. 
This week also brings performance improvements for buildings. They made some improvements to the building system last week per your feedback, and they've got some more this week, along with some performance improvements. The first one being roof corners pieces now allow for placement of other roof corner pieces in the same location, which allows you to create your own roofing with two different materials in a V-shape. And half walls now have an upper half variation, which could be placed in the same location as lower half walls, allowing you to make walls from two materials materials with a horizontal split. Notably, this means you can make large windows by making glass half windows or walls. They also made building pieces kit based, meaning that they will use less graphical memory usage for the game. And with this new feature, that's pretty much going to slice it down less than half, pretty much as far as the textures that need to be rendered. So it should be faster or better and allows them to do high resolution textures by keeping the memory usage low. Let's show you the new building pieces. So here's an example of what we could do to half pieces in building. Basically, you could play split walls just like this. It's quite easy to do so. All you have to do is once you have a clear place to place it, just hold R and you'll see the half wall lower and half wall upper. Just choose which one you want to place first. We're going to place, for example, a lower wall here. And then we're going to do a interior wood wall just for fun on the top and place that and you can kind of split walls just like this this also opens up the opportunity to do kind of like large windows like they mentioned before you could do very large windows by using a half wall like so well that one's kind of backwards but you can pretty much just put the glass piece up top and that makes a large window type deal and you could do it around like that if you wanted to. They've also added the corner roof pieces being able to be placed inside of each other. So you could do like a V structure right there out of two materials, like so. Kind of that's an upside down V and that's a V right there. So you can finish that corner up if you wanted to and finish up the roof as well. But you could place the angled roof pieces like so. We'll rip this up and show you how to do so. So we're just gonna start with a left roof piece. And then we're going to start with a right root piece. And then we're going to take our different material here. And we're going to start with an inverted left and right. There's the right. And there's the left. And there you go. You can have you a triangle. And of course, that's the, done the exact opposite. You just place the invert is first, left and right, and then just the corner pieces in the middle. They also wanted to mention that the Hypatia Part 2, which is going to be the Olympus operations, is in progress and they are working on it. They're also talking about the open world resource respawning, like trees and stuff, and they're currently testing that feature as well. So they're testing both of these and they're in their final stages. They should be able to give us a time when to expect Part 2 very soon and next week brings a new mount the tusker it's a new sticks mount next week update will bring a new mountain that will be exclusive arctic region of sticks for now so basically just on sticks and just in the arctic region it's called the tusker which we've been seeing in our future patch notes it is a large formidable beast and it has much higher resistance and health total it also has the largest stamina region and highest carry capacity of any mount but is slower compared to the buffalo and they still want you to buy stuff and give them money support their project there's a huge change log this week. So we're going to skim over the new content section this week. Of course, they unlocked all the six operations. They just made a ton of mission changes and changed some like pods and stuff like that in missions. Not much more in there other than mission changes. Let's go over to fix and skim through it. You can now build thatch inverted right building pieces that were not able to be built before. And of course, they fixed the Arcticus outposts. And now clay brick beams are not as durable as they were before because it was using the foundation or frame durability. And of course, as mentioned before, you can now craft the longbow in both the forge and foundry. And we have a ginormous future content section. We're going to go over that and skim over that and see what we can find. Looks like we get the tusker and seed pouch soon. Here's something very interesting. Add hooks for exotic deposit replenishing. Gated, not called in game right now. And they did it twice. And they mentioned a bat. 
And it's pretty cool we're going to be able to get the Sandworm and Scorpion boss trophies and talk more about exotics spawning or respawning or replenishing on open world. So they plan on doing replenishing open world exotics. Going to be different variants of bats. And here they're talking about a Brutalist decorative set. So they're going to have bat nests and cave bats. And it looks like you're going to tame the Tusker with pretty much the same method that we've been using. And they are going to be cleaning off radar scans from the map whenever you replenish world exotics. So maybe it's going to be a device or something kind of like we used for the Thumper that you do it and then it triggers the world exotics respawning. We'll see. Looks like they're putting something in there as far as a cheat for spawning world bosses, regenerating all world bosses in a given prospect, and destroying all the world bosses. That'd be pretty neat if we had some kind of console command in this game. It would at least help get them out faster. Added a exotic meteor art asset to the project. So, meteors, exotic meteors. Looks like the Tusker's gonna have a charge attack. That's pretty neat. The Tusker also does a bleeding debuff attack here's something most people will probably be super excited about new building pieces and the rest of the base classes and stone tier pieces yeah, it looks like we might have a chef's backpack one day here's two things i thought were interesting this one says ice mammoth melee and ice mammoth throwing and then next to it, it says item fishing rod scorpion scorpion fishing rod so they're adding a function to reset world bosses back to prospect default so that's pretty neat because there's a lot of open worlds i have that are completely screwed when it comes to world bosses and they're adjusting the world boss spawns and that's it for this change log quite a large log but thank you to the late night crew can't check sergio Wolfie, sandy silver john emc2 Rod Knob, Novocaine, Aaron, Hung Po, and Steady Bob. Thank you so much. So this Friday at 10 p.m. we will be streaming a Styx mission on Open World, just like we did last week. And I'm going to let chat actually decide which one we choose. So let us know in the comments down below what mission we should do. It cannot be the ones that are X'd off, of course, or Zephyr, because we've actually already completed that one. So let us know in the comments down below, and the most common answer will be the winner. And if we don't get a lot of responses, then we'll just choose one. Thank you for watching. Don't forget it. If you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Only 15% of people are subscribed to the channel. And that's okay. But if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, consider doing so. We're trying to get to 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And also, don't forget to turn on those notifications as well. I think 10% of people have those on as well. That'll let you know when we have new Icarus videos just like this one and content videos when those come out as well. And hopefully, we'll see you next time. Enjoy Hypatia. Peace.